So hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson, another video, another tutorial from Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu, and in this video, we'll quickly discuss deployment best practices. Right? We talk, we have talked about Apex best practices. We have talked about Lightning best practices, but it is also important that we deploy our stuff properly, right? Without impacting someone else's changes, without overriding them. Um, also ensuring that we um, ensure that a proper framework is uh, utilized when we are deploying. So let's take a look at some key best practices or rather practices that I've noted down below. So the first thing is release based development. The first question you need to ask yourself is how the release is organized and where should your development be pushed and how will it migrate to higher environments, right? Know the repositories that are being currently used, make an informed decision before pushing any changes to any of the repos, right? So if you're someone who's uh, in a project which is using a git based repository, right? So you have master on the top and then you have a lot of repositories when you as, as you keep coming down to your sandbox uh, org. So ensure that you, you, you are in touch with the release manager or the release lead and you understand which repositories are currently being used and where do the changes need to go from your current org. And only then push your changes to that particular repository without impacting any other repository. Cool. So as soon as you join a project, it's equally important that uh, you know the idea behind the business and what the company does and what the project is about. But it is necessarily important that you understand what the release is, how it is managed, how it is organized, what are the repositories in concern and where do I need to push my changes. Cool. And when we are talking about pushing our changes, let's take a look at the second best practice. Always pull before push. Right. So. It might happen that you're using a repo or a branch that is being used by fellow developers, right? Everyone is making changes and they're pushing their changes to the local repository or the remote remote branches. But you need to ensure that you do not override any changes coming from other developers. So always take a pull so that you have the latest changes from the remote branch and only then you commit any new changes. And uh, this will ensure that you do not override or you know conflict with the functionality that others have developed. Right? So the golden rule is to take a pull from the remote branch every morning you start working. So this will ensure that whoever has done any work late night or maybe the past evening and you were not there, you will have all those changes in your branch, in your uh, local branch and you can work on top of that and push that when you deploy your changes. Cool. The third practice that I would like to put up is commit only your changes. What normally happens is as we take a retrieve, right? When we take a retrieve, a lot of changes that are not ours come into our source commit or, you know, they come into our commit changes. But it is important that you identify what are your changes, what changes have you made on the org and uh, they should reflect on your commit history and only those should be the changes that you commit and push. It should not be like, you know, you are committing entire profile, you are committing the entire file. That would mean that you are pushing changes that are made by other developers. The, that change might not be a requirement in a user story, that change might impact some functionality. So ensure that you only stage and deploy your specific changes, only your changes, right? The next best practice would be to keep the repo clean. So to keep your repositories clean, uh, we, we all create a lot of branches, right? So it's important that you know, you create a branch for a feature or a functionality. And then once you're done with the feature, go ahead and delete the branch because it, it would have already been merged to the main branch, right? So you don't need your branch anymore. So once a feature or a module or a functionality is developed, go ahead and clean out your branches so that it does not take up unnecessary space in your uh, pipeline, in your repository, and it keeps it clean, right? So this will help you keep track of your functionality and it will also ease out the process of history tracking and auditing and you know taking, taking a look at files if you want to take a look at history. The next thing is code review. This is an important crucial part before deployment. We have to ensure that the pull request that we create is reviewed by either a fellow developer or a lead, right? Or an architect who's working for your team. So do not deploy anything that goes against the best practices that we have discussed for Apex and Lightning, right? Uh, ensure that you do not, you know, uh, write anything or push anything that might fail. And it would be easier for a fellow developer to catch it or maybe a lead to catch it. So ensure that your pull request is reviewed by them. So what does pull, uh, code review do? It lets uh, dev other developers find issues, potential issues, and it eliminates here the bugs that might come from the QA team. So it is better to, you know, 
uh, get the results uh, get the issues resolved on the base level instead of that going the entire route of reaching the testing team getting a bug raised on top of it and then working on that bug and then fixing it so that's a very big pipeline and that also haunts a lot of people so it's better to have some review comments on a pr fix it there take it with a pinch of salt and then resolve the comments right this will only help us to become a better developer it's not like you know uh, your ego would be hurt that you know oh my god uh, the lead has uh, given me so many changes and uh, my development is not good let's not think that way let's think positively the next the next practice is use vs code extensions right so visual studio code is a very powerful tool and has become the best ide for salesforce development at least as far as i know so it comes in with a lot of add-ons and plugins that you can put in there git lens is one of them git history is there you have uh, things like uh, bracket differen uh, differentiator you have bracket colorizer a lot of stuff is there right so ensure that you have those extensions in in place and you track all your uh, changes you audit the changes and you are aware of every modification you have done right so once you have this kind of plugins it it just makes your life easy it does not really improve deployment as a practice but yeah it, it makes your life easy it makes it enables history tracking it enables you to become a better developer and you start developing and implementing in a better way and that just helps overall uh, in, in the deployment also right so you can take a look at who has made this change what change has been made what changes did i do on top of that you can compare files all of this can be done just by this one particular extension that's git lens cool so you can take a look at this uh, plugin and you can install it so a quick quick recap on what we just discussed so deployment best practices have a release based development ensure that you are developing based on the feature that's there ensure that you know which repositories to work on which repositories to push your changes to always pull before push take the changes that are available on the remote branch take it to your local branch and then push anything from your side so that avoids any overriding issue commit only your changes don't just commit and push files and just move things that you see are changes ensure that you are noticing the changes that have been made and are being staged are only your changes not not someone else's keep keep the repo clean keeping the repo clean means cleaning out your branches once in a while and uh, ensuring that you develop feature wise you develop functionality wise you develop module wise so when you when you create branches based on a feature and a functionality as soon as that branch is tested and closed you can clear the branch as well so that will keep the repo clean and help you history track better have your code reviewed have your pull request reviewed by a colleague by a fellow developer by a senior developer or a lead don't take it uh, negatively uh, if issues come up on the uh, pull request that gives you an added advantage to resolve them there and that will lead to uh, resolving the bug itself the bug will never be created right so take it with a pinch of salt lastly use good vs code extensions a lot of them are present there and one of them that i've discussed specifically for deployment is the git lens and the git history uh, use git lens to you know track history track the changes made by other people who made the modifications what date was it what commit id is there so you can track all of it just by this one powerful plugin that's git lens and definitely there are more extensions that are available that help you with uh, deployment and you know uh, uh, efficient deployment uh, rather so take a look at those extensions download and see what download and see what works for you cool so that's all about the deployment practices i would like you thank you for taking a look at this uh, video lecture i'll see you in the next video bye